Hey everybody, Steve here. Well, I came across this really interesting uh, grand prize victor record uh, the other day, and um, it's entitled Farewell Address to the Navy by Admiral Robley D. Evans. Now, I haven't heard this yet. It's, um, it's extremely clean, so I imagine it wasn't played very much. Lucky for me. But, um... Robley D. Evans was actually a rear admiral in the U.S. Navy. And this was recorded in 1908. And he served in the American Civil War, Second Battle of Fort Fisher, the Spanish-American War, and the Battle of Santiago de Cuba. So, Mr. Evans has been around. He was also known as Fighting Bob Evans. So, okay guys, well, I'm going to play this on my... Columbia BZH client phonograph, and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's Farewell Address to the Navy by Admiral Robley D. Evans on Victor Grand Prize record 5632 from 1908. Upon relinquishing the command of the United States Atlantic Fleet, I'm calling down my flag this day on board the USS Connecticut flagship. I desire to express to the officers and men of the fleet my great regret at leaving them and my appreciation of and hearty thanks for their continuous and loyal support. It has been a source of much gratification and pride to me throughout my period of command, not only to see the number of vessels in the fleet steadily increase and the units become more and more formidable, but to see the steady improvement in drill, shooting, and in everything that tends to efficiency, and especially to witness the growth of that feeling of comradeship and esprit which transforms a group of vessels into an efficient war fleet. I am sure that both officers and men feel the same pride in the great increase of efficiency in these matters. And as it has been accomplished through their loyalty and zeal, to them I extend my thanks for all that they have done. In taking leave of them, I wish to say to each and every one that they have my warmest sympathy and best wishes for continued prosperity and good fortune in the future. I shall always watch their movements with pride and interest, and I trust they will extend to my successors the same loyalty and hearty support that they have always given to me in order that I may be able to see from my home the street which I am now leaving progress steadily in efficiency so that it may justify the faith of our people that our war fleet is and always will be a perfect source of strength for upholding the safety and honor of our flag and a security for such as pass on the seas upon that lawful occasion.